Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Brother Worry here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, happy Thursday. I tell you, it's a beautiful day here in uh, Fresno. So I hope that you took time out to study. Remember, we must study. And we know it is late, it is late, it is late. And our solution is Jesus Christ. And I like this one because if you say he has his hands out and all he asks us is to take his hand and follow him and he will take us through whatever storms that's in your life or we could also say whatever mountains are in your life you just take the hand of jesus and he will carry you through you just have to ask him lord take full control of whatever situation it is right now and he stayed for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life and that is john 3 16. let us bow for prayer the kind of gracious son of father father god i thank you so much for this day i ask you right now that you will decrease me so that you'll be increased is my prayer in jesus name amen and amen and so I'm out and about doing some errands, and so I decided to just park on the side and um, and do our lesson today. So as we go into darkness before dawn, can you guys see that darkness before dawn? You know that it's always going to be dark before we see the light, right? I don't know why do we always have to go through the darkness before dawn. I guess because we probably end up have more appreciation for things when we go through the trials and tribulation. It gives you more appreciation for life, right? So let's go into our scripture readings coming from Matthew 7. Matthew 7 verses 21. Matthew 7 verses 21 and he says not everyone that says unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven mm. may the Lord have the blessing to the reading hearing and the doing of his words okay so let's get into it let's get into it any state the master plan of deception all the power of his mastermind were now bent to the work of deception to, to secure the sympathy of the angels that has been under his command even the fact that christ had warned and counseled him was perverted to serve his treacherous designs to those who love no let me go back to those who loving trust bound them more closely to him satan had misrepresent no satan had presented that he was wrongfully judged that his position was not respected and that his liberty was to be a bridge for misrepresentation of the word of christ he passed to fabricate, fabrication and direct falsehood, accusing the Son of God of a design to humiliate him before the inhabitants of heaven. He sought also to make a false issue between himself and the loyal angels, all whom he would not subvert and bring fully to his side he accused of indifference to the interests of the heavenly being the very work which he himself was doing he charged upon those who remain true to god and to sustain his charge of god and justice towards him he resorted to misrepresentation of the words and acts of the creator it was his policy to perplex the angels and to subtly argument concerning the purposes of God. Everything that was simple, simple, he covered or he disguised in mystery and by artful perversion cast doubt upon the plainest statement of Jehovah. His high position in such close connection with the divine administration gave greater force to his representation and many were induced to unite with him in rebellion against heavenly authority and we talking no other than lucifer who had um 
up. Remember, he was the one of the, he was the covering angel. He was the first angel, and we know that he decided that he wanted to get praise, honor, and glory. Okay, and then so, we, so we're going to continue this, um, this study as we go into deeper into the darkness before dawn. We're going to go into it. So you see, God gives each one of us our choices, just like he gave Lucifer, okay? Then he became Satan, right, when he was thrown out of heaven. So as we continue to study, my sister and brother, let us be aware that we are not falling into uh, these uh, same predicament. God words, he gave us his word, and we should not take the word of God and turn it to make it what you want to take it to make it. Okay, you need to read the Word of God and believe the Word of God. Claim His promises, okay? That's what we need to be doing. So let me share with you my devotion for today. And this is, I need some water first. I've got well water in here, and I also have, I just reuse bottles. Um, this was the closest thing I had this morning. So I have well water, and then I decided to put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt in there. Mmm, I give it a little bit of, I don't know, feels like my body really needs that, so that's what I decided to do this morning. So here is the devotion. Subject to God's call. And he, sa and he said to them all that if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. And this is Luke 9.23. Luke 9.23. Genuine self-denial will be practiced by all who follow Christ. Judas understood the fo to follow Christ. Judas understood to, to follow Christ and at the same time to carry out his selfish, covetous plan. He had the same privilege as had the other's disciples. Let me pray. The kind of gracious son of Father. Father God, I ask you to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. He had the same privilege of hearing the lessons of Christ, which plainly represented practical godliness, but he was not always pleased with the plain truth. In It cut him, and instead of taking up personal labor with Judas Iscariot, he found fault with the word and the works of Christ and criticized his plain teaching. Instead of being transformed in character, he was cultivating self-love, self-esteem, and the love of money. To live for self is to perish. Let me repeat that. To live for self is to perish. Covetousness, the desire to benefit the self's sake, cuts the soul off from life. It is the spirit of Satan to get, to draw to self. It is the spirit of Christ to give and to sacrifice self for the good of others. There can be no self-seeking in the life of him who follows the Savior. Let me repeat that. There can be no self-seeking in the life of him who follows the Savior. The true Christian banish all selfishness from his heart. How can he live for self as he think of Christ hanging on the cross, giving his life for the life of the world? In your behalf, Jesus died a death of shame. Are you willing to consecrate yourself to his service? to hold yourself ready to be or to do anything he may require? Are you willing to put self aside and speak a word of warning to the companion you seek healing to Satan's temptation? Are you willing to sacrifice some of your plans for the sake of trying to lead him in safe path? Many youth are in peril who might be saved if Christians would manifest towards them a loving, self, unselfish interest. Let me go back. Let me repeat that. Many youth are in peril. Who might be saved if Christians would manifest towards them a, a loving, 
unselfish interests. If it says if Christian would manifest towards them a loving, unselfish interest. The true Christian works unselfishly, untiringly for the master. He does not seek ease of self or he does not seek ease or self gratification, but holds all, even life itself, subject to God's call. And to him are spoken the words. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Should I repeat that? He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. And you can find this in Matthew chapter 10, verses 39. So that concludes my devotion today. Subjects to God's call. Mm. Subjects to God's call. So my sister and brother, we just need to continue to study the word claim the promises of God and uh, tell someone else about share your love and testimony with someone else so that they too will make a decision to follow the Lord so yesterday we did verses two and three today I do um, no no uh, we did one and two today I will do two guys supposed to do just number three but I do two and three and this is all that thrills my soul Love of Christ so freely given, grace of God beyond degree, mercy higher than the heavens, deeper than the deepest sea. All that thrills my soul is Jesus. He's more than life to me, and the fairest of ten thousand in my blessed Lord I see. Every need his hands supplying, every good in him I see. On his strength divine relying, he is all in all to me. All that trills my soul is Jesus. He's more than life to me. And the fairest of 10,000 in my blessed Lord I see. So tomorrow we go into verses 4. My sister, my brother, I hope and pray that you are standing on the promises of God. That you are reading and claiming his word. Study like you have never studied, my sister, my brother. And as we're doing that, we need to be fasting and praying as well not only for ourselves but for our loved one and individuals in our community we need to continue to lift up each and every one and our community then you could go to the states then you could go to the government as well so let us continue to remain faithful until the end so my sister and brother get ready get ready jesus is coming too so whether you're ready or not he is coming coming very soon let us bow for prayer the kind of grace is under father i thank you father god for this beautiful day i thank you father god that you did not leave me here by myself i thank you for your holy spirit that continue to woo us and draw us unto you so father god we ask you to take uh to to take us father for our god father god cleanse us purifying us father god and once you have done us fill us with the love father as fill us up with the power of your Holy Spirit so that we can go out and, and be our, our, our witness for you. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that you sit high and you look low and you know everything that we're going through and you have already supplied everything that we need. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Father God. We thank you and we accept your grace freely. Continue to be with each one of us today. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother. So if this was, if you have received maybe one nugget, maybe two nugget, maybe two nugget, whatever you have received, my sister and brother, someone needs to hear a word from the Lord. So can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button, make a comment, hit the share button, follow me over on YouTube there, and you can hit the subscribe button and there as well hit the no bell notification so you will know when my videos are uploading over on youtube until then my sister and brother i love you i love you i appreciate you i appreciate you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today so may god continue to richly bless you and your family until tomorrow be blessed oh and i forgot to tell you what the topic is for tomorrow thank you holy spirit for bringing that back to my remembrance the rebellion continues on earth. The rebellion continues on earth. That is the topic for tomorrow. So until then, my sister, my brother, 
Be blessed and take care.